Yay, tarps. <laughs> I love tarps. Guys, the Decathlon Bushcraft tarp and the DD tarp. This is a bag of pegs, don't, don't get confused. The DD standard tarp, which I am going to say is the size tree by tree. Yes, tree by tree. Okay, guys, or three by three if you want to be correct. Stay tuned. These are two very common tarps, guys. So what I want to do is I want to put them head to head. I'm going to make them fight each other like this, look. <laughs> let us have a look. Let us compare, not, not fight. Let us compare these two tarps, guys. I'm going to put them up. We're going to have a look. Uh, and we look at the sizes, the stitching, the construction, okay? And we'll talk about the materials and the pricing and stuff like that as well. Which one first, Bruno? Hop! Which one first? Which one we put up first? Let us put... And of course, in true Wally's World style, as soon as I start to do this, it gets windy. Nothing fancy guys, I'm just going to set this up in an airframe, okay? No de dee dee, no de dee dee, no de dee dee. There you have the mop guys. Hey Bruno. I'm, I'm so glad that I actually had grabbed the 3x3 three three and not the 4x4, four four, which, which was a, a possibility. Okay, so, let's have a look. Guys, the Decathlon tarp, as the time of recording, the Decathlon tarp, uh, it is 2.9 by 2.8 meters. It is 44.99, it weighs 815 grams, and it has 21 tie out points, and it is made of polyester, okay? The DD 3 by 3 tarp, okay, is 42 pound, it weighs, 790 grams it has 19 tie out points and it is also made of polyester coated uh, with a 300 mil 300 m waterproof coating and i don't really know what that means okay so the boat made of polyester i couldn't find any information on the actual waterproofing or what it was the the decathlon tarp was covered in right so there they are side by side okay both excellent tarps absolutely excellent tarps this is square this is not and use your own an angle this is square this is not this is a blackout uh, tarp guys and this is not right no this is not this is just the information right some people prefer this some people prefer that i don't mind i do like this at certain times and i do like this at certain times the 19 tie out points, or sorry, the extra tie out points, does it make that much of a difference? It's not fully square, so this is this is what I would be thinking. Is does that affect it? The, the, well, it does actually, because if you look at my tarpology videos, guys, you have seen that I had to do a wee bit more fiddling to get this to perform the same way as this one, making tarp tents, etc. Okay, so what is the difference? Well, let me show you. This is a tie out point. It's reinforced on the back. It's stitched this way and it's stitched this way. Okay. 
This is the tie out point under the Catalan tarp, guys. I'm going to zoom you in. Reinforced, okay, and it has got really heavy duty stitching all around it, okay. Guys, your tabs for your ridge line are shorter under the Catalan than they are on the DD tarp. Now, when you're looking at the DD tarp and you're thinking to yourself, they're the same, but I actually tied them because I don't understand, I never did understand on DD tarp why they make them so long, yet the ones on the end are so short. I could never figure that out. Maybe there's a reason for it. If there is, let me know. These are both very good tarps, guys. Uh, they are the price. There's only like three pound in the difference in price between this and this. Okay, uh, when I bought them, I definitely did not pay that amount of money for them. I think it was. My God is telling me these have gone up a tenner in price. I could be wrong, guys. I could be wrong. That that DD tarp that you see there is is my first tarp that wasn't a Basha. Uh, and it could possibly be eight years old and it has not had an easy life all right there's, there's repairs on it I've, I've, I've fixed it with puncture repair kits and stuff like that guys okay this has been put through its paces as well like i left this up i think for two months in the woods you know just to see how it would get on they're both good tarps there's both good tarps there's pros and cons of each uh, and the main difference I can see is the blackout and the camo, but you can get DD Tarps camo as well. I just have never seen any blackout ones. The Decathlon Tarp or Decathlon, the company themselves, I think they're missing a the trick here. If they don't offer this without the blackout and in like a green type color or, or something like that, you know, or green or, or brown, something that's not camo, you know, because some people don't like camouflage tarps. I don't really mind. The stick again, Bruno. You're back at me with the stick again. Guys, that is it. That is a comparison video between the DD 3x3 tarp and the Decathlon Bushcraft tarp. Guys, I hope you enjoyed that video and I hope you found it beneficial or maybe help you make up your mind if you're deciding on which one to buy. Uh, thumbs up, subscribe, all that crack. Stay frosty. Stay Bruno. -y.